recap of what's been going on with me hope all is well with y'all so good to see y'all it's been about a good what week by the time that y'all see this it'll be a week since the last time that i spoke to y'all it's been a long time coming for this um i just wanted to sit here for a quick second and just like i said you have to excuse my hair i'm just coming from the gym and this is what happens when I go to the gym. My hair looks a complete mess. So I'm about to run back out for a quick second. But before I do, I just wanted to chat with y'all for a quick second. I'm not going to be before y'all. This is going to be a quick video. I just wanted to say what I've been doing this week. So it's Thursday. I last talked to y'all on Sunday. So what happened? Well, let me at least give y'all the subject of this video. What was supposed to happen? So I usually try to go ahead and schedule everything ahead of time with my schedule for the week and everything that I had scheduled. I usually try to do all my videos that I shoot like the YouTube and YouTube, anything that I'm going to be doing for Instagram and TikTok, Facebook, things like that. When I make those videos, I try to schedule them for the beginning of the week and here we are on thursday which is the end of the week and i'm filming a video so i'm saying that to say that that happened because i'm just like just being completely honest with y'all but a lot of the times like i just really get scared i don't know why i'm like that and i want to know if i'm the only one like that too but i just hate that i let fear just get in the way of so many things like I really feel like a lot of the times I probably really could have been a super 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 way uh further ahead with everything that I want to do if I were not afraid it is something that really hinders me it's something that I've been dealing with my whole life and I'm tired of it I'm it's I mean it it really is a hindrance and it's a it's a weight that I hold and I just wanted to just talk about it for a second because maybe if I talked about it it would maybe just talking through it will help me get through it and stop being that way for lack of a better phrase of how to put it but yeah I do it I guess it just comes from the way that I have the way that I was raised my mother was a very strict mother and it just maybe it just stemmed from being afraid of her because she just meant business she was just like i i think a lot of moms today still really need to be like that because your kids do have a better chance of having a better outcome in my opinion when you have strict parents who don't play like my mom was strict to the point where she, I mean I wasn't even allowed to watch R-rated movies I don't think until I was like 
13, 14 something years old. If I were watching them, I was sneaking and watching them. I, uh, I had to ask to go around the corner. Like I wasn't allowed to do anything on my own. I was the type of kid that had to be in the house when the street lights came on. Oh, and if it, and if I had the nerve to come in when they were not on child, it was hell to pay. You hear me? So, yeah, I've just been a very fearful child and it has stayed with me into my adult years. Like, I'm just I'm very anxious. You already know what I've talked about, my anxiety before. I'm just always just thinking about, like, having like these terrible thoughts of like, what if with me, like, you know, just thinking like when I just drive, sometimes I just be really, sometimes I literally have this thought like, oh my God, like what if I just got into a car accident like just right now? And I'll literally just like vision, like driving down the freeway and a truck will just be like coming and then just somehow just over, like just jump over the overpass and just hit me head on. Like I have like straight visions of that. Just stuff like all the time I can be at the gas station and I'll just have like a vision that somebody's going to come behind me and just like rob me or something. It's awful. It's an awful, awful, awful mindset that I have. And I don't wish that on nobody. It's so terrible. But yeah, going into my field of what I do, like I just, I'll have everything planned out. I'll write it out like, oh yeah, I'm going to film this. I'm going to do all filming on Monday. I don't have to work Monday. I'm going to just go to the gym and then come home and then film and then Monday I'll get here and I'll just literally procrastinate to not do it because I'm just I'm just afraid of the outcome like I don't know if it's I've just had so many disappointments when it's come when it has come to my career in my life now don't get me wrong like I have a lot of accomplishments too that I'm very proud of and I'm very very thankful for I know that I have accomplished way more than most but with those accomplishments comes a lot of failures a lot of uh just um less let downs and disappointments just people just saying like just mean things and um insecurities self-esteem issues all of that plays in so i'll just have a great idea and then the next thing you know i'll just be like oh my god what if they don't what 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 if they don't like it or you know like what am I gonna do if it just doesn't come across the way that I want to and so li thoughts like that will literally have me is my nose running like I'm on coke <sighs> excuse me what was I even saying I was saying that I um what was I saying the thoughts, oh, I was talking about how I feel when I get ready to shoot my videos. I'll literally have these thoughts and it stops me. And that's why I, I'm, we're, on thir we're here at Thursday and I'm still filming when I could have been doing other things with my time. But I just let stupid stuff stop me and I'm just talking through it because I want to stop and i'm going to stop like i have to just get to the point now where it's like okay some videos are going to do better than others others and who cares if people don't like it? it's not about that i shoot the stuff that i do because i like it i like everything that you guys see that i shoot and like everything always has some kind of like old school thing behind it because that's how i was raised like my mom list that's all she listened to even the music that was current at her time, which is now pretty much my generation's old school music, um, she just she just always just listened to soulful stuff, and that stuff just stuck with me. So it's just a part of my brand. I have people tell me all the time that I have an old soul. So it's just it's my story. It's who I am as a person and as an artist. It may not be the most common brand. It may not be the most um, hippest or, you know, the most littest brand out of all the stuff that we see all on social media. But that's why we do have social media so we can have a variety. And I just have to, as I'm saying this, I have to, these are the things that I have to think when I'm 
doing that like you're not gonna be like everybody else what, what's the point of being like everybody else it's a thousand of everybody doing all those different types of things let me i always like to be different i'm going to be different whether people like it or not it's not about one million it's about one and that's just what i stand by and i had to tell myself that when i put this stuff out you're not i'm not trying to attract the masses like that like just do you and chill breathe and work just want to take a quick second to say that i have issues with being afraid my last name ain't fears for no reason that is my birth name and i just have to turn that into fearless and i'm doing that one day at a time he can't i can't let this control me and you guys can't let crap like this control you either you are special we are special uh we all have talents that god has given each and every one of us whether you believe or not believe in him or not you just everybody you all have something in you we have something in us and we just have to figure out the best way to push it out and how to get it out there but at the same time we have to make sure that we are being true to ourselves at all times and at the end of the day that's what i'm doing i'm being myself like even just sitting talking right now i'm i'll sit here and think like oh i'm not sounding like the people that i watch on youtube so people aren't gonna like me so the, what 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 do i need to sound like them for if y'all don't if you don't like the way i sound but guess what this is the way i sound this is the way i talk listen or not <laughs> i don't know um i'm just being transparent i just i'm here to help and i'm here to help people who might be going through the same thing so yeah if you are dealing with issues of fear on your own please leave a comment below also uh subscribe please to this uh ever growing channel and i thank y'all so much and I'll see y'all next week. I'm about to finish this big old drink that I got um, and finish with the rest of this week. And then we're shooting the shot day video on Sunday, the cover video. I don't know if I mentioned that in any of my other vlogs right now, but yeah, I'm shooting a cover video for uh, day on Sunday. So we got stuff to do. So I got to move on. I'm finishing this, taking my breather. Don't be afraid. <laughs>